Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, what am I? Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Baldwin, and today I have the Anta Salehi collab uh, sneakers, hiking sneakers. Um, I'm a little late on these. I actually got these in February, but I've been a little busy. But I still want to cover these since I've had a month, and I want to. Uh, review these and show you guys how awesome these sneakers are. Let's do this. You already know this is strictly on foot. My review on this sneaker, man, these are just amazing sneakers um, from the style to just the material, man, of this whole sneaker. This sneaker is different. Uh, I do not have any other sneakers like this that I can think of in my closet. And these are just amazing, man. I can use these for work. I can use these to obviously go walking and hiking and stuff like that, which are the main reason why these sneakers were built. But um, I could also use them to go out and they serve many purposes. I think these sneakers are amazing from the style to the comfort to um, using them for work, like I said. And Salehi really outdid himself with these sneakers. I have not seen a lot of people with these. And when people see me with these, they're like, yo, what sneakers are those? And I'm like, oh, Anta, you probably don't know this brand. Um, it's a brand from China, but um, they collabed with this guy, Soleil, who's an amazing, amazing designer. And um, they're just very underrated, even though they were sold out right away. Um, I got these in February when they had dropped for the second time. I bought these for retail, 
90 dollars uh with tax it came up to i think like 110 or something like that on Salehi's uh, website which is called be a sponge and um he basically announced when he was going to release it he said that you had to uh, sign up for it and get this like early access it was the only way that you were going to be able to get the sneaker and that's exactly what i did these were the only colorway that were available i'm telling you because of the price 90 dollars I would have bought like two or three different colorways, but I did not get my hands on the colorway that I really wanted. So I was like, I have to get these either way. And I'm amazed at how beautiful these triple black sneakers are. I'm not a big fan of uh, that much. I feel like not a lot of sneakers could get away with triple black, not a lot, but these are just amazing and very beautiful. And um, basically uh, I was able to get it uh, it was a smooth process um, getting these, but it was just a window of like I think like 10 15 minutes maybe. And um, these were the only colorway that were available, everything else was already sold out. So I bought these, and um, to be honest with you, I'm freaking impressed at how amazing these sneakers are. Again, uh, serve many purposes, and I think that that's what makes this sneaker very great. Um, the only issue and question that I had at the time was just, um, so Salehi, the designer, he had dropped these on Be A Sponge, but then if you go to Anta, the brand's um, website, they have these sneakers, but they're retail at 170 and then plus tax because it's like an overseas, um, uh, it's coming from China directly. Um, they, it comes out to like $220 and then I'm like when you think about it these are a 90 pair um, valued at $90 and then from that you know the brand is selling them for $170 and then coming out to with tax $220 it was just it's a little weird you know the disconnect in between and the difference in prices I was just like what's going on like why is the designer selling these at a limited price um, for $90 and then the brand is actually selling these for $170. It was just a little weird. Um, that was just like the only thing. Um, other than that, these sneakers are great. They, they do, like I said, they do have this and I'll post it up on it. When you do wear them, they do get like, you know like how rubber bands when you stretch them out, they start getting like this white thing. Uh, they do get this like white color like if it was like dust on it and the dust really shows on this sneaker that's the only thing that you have to keep on like wiping them and stuff like that and um, other than that because it's like this rubber material um, they do not uh, wrinkle or crease as much you do get like some like you know indents and stuff like that because of wear and stuff uh, after having a month with these but uh, yeah, wear these in the rain, um, they don't get soaking wet, they're kind of like waterproof. Um, wore these to walk out for a very long time and even though they're very high platform sneakers, um, compare these to like the other Dr. Martens that I have um, that are like the only other pair of shoes that I have that are high platform. Um, these are actually very high platform. And I'm not really a fan of high platform sneakers, but these look great, man. Like, I, I don't think it's too much of a high platform sneaker. So these are just perfect. And I'll show you a comparison between the Dr. Martens and stuff like that. Uh, but they're a perfect, uh, perfect, like, gives you a perf uh, good, like, it isn't too high of a platform. And um, if you like to, if you're like me, that's like 5'10 and want to reach six feet then these sneakers are for you man so resell like i said on these it's not that bad um on stock x with like tax and everything for my size size 10 it's uh 183 plus tax comes out to 210 so it's not that bad and i'd actually get it from stock x than uh anta um it's a little bit cheaper and it'll probably get to you very fast compared to um uh, international um, shipping so yeah these sneakers aren't that bad in reselling I think these are very low-key sneakers very underrated not a lot of people know about these I'm telling you when I wear these a lot of people are like yo those are actually nice where they're from 
And um, yeah, a lot of people don't even know, a lot of people don't know actually the designer Salehi. Um, he's up and coming, like I said, he's uh, very underrated and I could see him actually going up and blowing up just like Virgil has and Jerry Lorenzo. And um, he's coming up with a lot of innovative stuff. Um, talk about the detail on the sneaker. You know, you got a detail of a bird's nest on this. Uh, just the material of this sneaker. No uh, tongue on this, so it gives you like a feel of just a one shoe, like all in everything. Um, the lacing on the sneaker is on this, like basically just for kind of like an extra support, an extra like uh, tightening support, but um, you don't really need them because the whole shoe is just like compact together. Um, the sole and everything, everything's great and comfortable. It doesn't, what I love about this also, let me just mention very quickly, this back, you know how some sneakers like you have to break up in it, break them in like, and it just has like this back that like bothers the back of your, your uh, the back of your foot. Like nah, this actually has a very soft back that um, adapts to your form of feet, your form of like, uh, just like back, the back of your foot, it adapts to all that and adapts to your shoes, whether uh, your feet, whether you have like um, very wide feet or very narrow feet, it adapts to anything. And these sneakers are just great. They serve their purpose for hiking. Like I've said, you can take these for a hike. I wish I would have taken these when I went to uh, hike in California to the Hollywood sign. I wish I would have taken these. I didn't have these at that time. But um, these would have been great, and um, they're just sneakers that, although they're very beautiful, like you just want to get them dirty, like you just want to take them out and like test them out to see if they actually are hiking, and they're actually very comfortable sneakers. So that is my sneaker review on the Anta Salehi collab. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got to see um, this colorway, the triple black. Um, hope you got to see something that you had not seen before and shows you the performance of this sneaker. I hope you enjoyed it, all the visuals. Um, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do and hit that like button. I wanna thank all the people that have recently subscribed. Thank you so much. Thank you for the likes and the commenting. Keep them coming. Thank you so much. It motivates me and lets me know that people are actually watching this. I wanna let you know that also, um, I missed a month and I said that I was gonna um, bring a bunch of stuff to this channel, please uh, be patient with me and hold on, I am going to bring that stuff, I'm passionate about making videos, even though I'm working and stuff and I've had some like stuff that uh, have come up and has um, put this on hold and stuff a little bit, uh, that doesn't mean I won't stop making videos, like I've said, I'm passionate about this and I do this, whether I get paid for it or not, and I'm actually in California right now, in New York, California for work. So just to let you guys know how busy I've been, but that doesn't stop me. I'm gonna keep making videos. I got, um, like I said, more sneakers, uh, clothing reviews. I got food reviews coming up soon, very, very soon this summer. Um, I just gotta put them all together and stuff, but um, just wait on it. Thank you guys so much again for watching. And if you did not know, you are a blessing. Thanks for watching.